Hello, Asian One Skill here today. I'm back with this week's game news episode. Um, I'm a little bit late as usual. <laughs> um, tried to record this yesterday. I was having technical difficulties, but I'm um, here now. And with the recent release of the PlayStation 4 that was released back on Friday, on November 15th. So, um, just to get um, get things started, um, the PS4. Um, so far, there hasn't been too many problems. It's, I think it's only um, a small number of people that have been having problems. Um, I think it's, uh, they said there was hardware problems, like something uh, if you plug it into your TV, um, it doesn't show the video or something, or um, fan problems or something. Like it's not, it's not, it's not, it's going louder than it's supposed to be or something. I'm not 100% sure. This is just various things I've read from um, different. Uh, Websites and whatnot, so um, I was planning on getting it um, first hand, but then I decided not to, so um, yeah. And speaking of which, a lot of people are trying to s sell it for more than it's worth. Like, I've seen one for a thousand bucks on Craigslist. Why pay for that much when there are still issues they need to solve um, for the console? Um, so yeah. Um, I, I just wouldn't give in to it. Um, so yeah, uh, another thing, um, so with the PS4 release, of course, this week there is another big console release, which is the Xbox One, that is being released on the 22nd of this week, so in uh, four days, I think. No, less than that. Is it 22nd? Yes, 22nd, so four days left now. Uh, today is Monday, November 18th. Um, so there are a lot of different... Um, discussions between the PS4 and Xbox One. Um, to be honest, um, I just go with whichever one you like more um, for game-wise or whatever, or if you're a fan of um, a certain brand or whatever. Um, just whatever, you know. I I don't have an Xbox. I've never played an Xbox. I want an Xbox just for a couple of the exclusives um, that I would like to play. Like I've never tried Halo. And whatnot, but um, Titanfall, I really want to try that. I think that's the one thing that's getting it to, for me right now. Um, so enough of that. Um, uh, next up are the game releases that we're having um this week. Um, let's see here. We've got a PlayStation Network game. Um, the Soul Calibur 2 HD Online. Um, it's going to be uh, coming out actually tomorrow, Tuesday. Um, so that's going to be somewhat cool. It, um, it's pro it's, it has less characters, but I mean, um, I think Soul Calibur 2 is what one of the best ones, I think. Or uh, 3, I can't remember. One or the other. But it was one of those two that were the best ones in the series. 5 didn't do it for me, I don't think. I played 4 and 3. Um, 3, I think, was the, one of the best ones I ha I've ever played. Um, it Watch Dogs was supposed to be released this week, but as you know, um, they pushed it back even further. So, that sucks for a lot of people. So, not a lot of good launch titles for the PlayStation 4, other than, I think, Killzone Shadowfall. I think that's the only one that looks good. Um, and then another thing is, uh, let's see here. Not much, I don't think, um. It's just some other small games. Um, Need for Speed Rivals is coming out for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and play, uh, PC. Need for Speed, I think well, I think it was Hot Pursuit 2. That was the best one so far. Um, the other ones, it seemed all similar. Um, I, pref I would prefer Burnout even more, to be honest. Even though that's an EA game, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I think that's basically it. Um... Some, a lot of 3DS things coming out. Uh, we've got Mario Party Island Tour. That's coming up this Friday. Um, same day as release on the, of the Xbox One. Um, and also Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. I think this is a new new one in, of the series. And it's also for 3DS. Um, there is also a special edition for the 3DS XL. It's got like a Triforce um, on it. And it's like uh, gold on one side and black on the other. Um, so it's much different from the 3DS that they released for the Oricana Time 3DS. 
uh, back on launch title, I think. So yeah. Another one is um, the Adventure Time. Uh, it's got a, its own special collector's edition. It's got like I think a steel tan. It's the uh, uh, Adventure Time Explore the Dungeon because I don't know collector's edition. So it's got um, according to EB, um, they're actually I think low on stock. I'm, I didn't even pre-order this, so I'm hoping I can get this tomorrow and do a unboxing video for you guys as well right away. So there is a limited edition uh, BMO package design and a glossy premium steelbook case. It's got some DVD con uh, bonus DVD content with uh, actor interviews, uh, the creator from the creator and whatnot, a guide with game tips and stuff, and of course the game itself. And that is just regular thirty nine ninety nine. I thought it was gonna be like ten bucks more, but thirty nine ninety nine. That's not bad. So if you don't haven't got pre ordered it or whatever, quickly go to your EB closest EB Games or GameStop, pick it up. I think I've checked availability on a couple stores. They only have low stocks, so limited quantity, so I'm, I, they only might even only have enough for just the uh, pre-order. So I hope that I can pick one up. So yeah. Um, in other news, I think that's about it. That rounds up uh, everything um, for the week um, and this coming week. Uh, but in other news, uh, just an update I just got recently. Um, Final Fantasy uh, 10 and 10-2 or X X2. That is be the remastered version is being postponed for North America and Europe. Um, in Japan, it's still on schedule for December, basically this winter or uh, this Christmas, for the North America and Europe. We have to wait until March, which is also when Dark Souls Two is released, and I think Watch Dogs is also being released at at that. Time. I'm not 100% sure. Watch Dogs has been pushed back twice already, so I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, and in, uh, just an, um, a quick clarification though for the uh, 10 and 10 to um, remastered. If you pre ordered with EB Games, you get the special um, um, limited edition kind of packaging. So it's got like the art book or whatever. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be how they did the. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Remix one, 1.5 Remix, uh, first print um, edition, where it's it's already included with the actual game case and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, um, I think that's all I've got to say for today. Um, hope you guys had a good weekend. And sorry if I'm always not on time with my game news videos. Um, if you're even watching, um, but I hope you are. As always. Give me a comment. It's even greater if you could subscribe, like the video, or whatever, or even give me tips on how I can be better, uh, do that, make this better, or what kind of content I should add. So, yeah, give me a heads up. Um, one other thing that I'm, that I'm not that I um, don't usually talk about. Uh, Dota 2 Dire Tide is back, and it's somewhat harder in difficulty. I get for Roshan, the second part of it of the game, or third part of the game, as they say it, where you all fight Rosh. Roshan, um, that is, um, it is, it just came back on the 14th, so I think on the Thursday, and I think it's going on until the 28th, so two weeks in total, so hope you guys have, see you guys maybe on Dire Tide or whatever, get some items, uh, whatever, and see you guys next week, or maybe even tomorrow, earlier, right, as early, uh, as early as, as I, as I can see you guys, um, anyways, Agent One Skills is out. Peace.